Hi Year 2, I hope you're all well. Now remember in maths this week we've started looking at multiplication. Remember the multiplication sign looks like an X but we haven't actually started writing number sentences with those yet because the last few days we've been looking at equal groups and we're going to carry on with our work on equal groups today. So let's go. Our learning objective today is to add equal groups. Let's look at our starter task. So we've got some whistles. Remember, that's for Tom's adventure to the North Pole. How many groups are there? Are they equal? And how do you know? And how many are there altogether? Pause the video now and think about these questions. So the first question, how many groups are there? There are one, two, three, four groups. Are they equal? And how do you know? Well, let's count how many we've got in each. So one, two, three in the first one, three in the second one, three in the third group, and three in the fourth group. So they're all equal because they all have the same amount of whistles. And how many are there all together? Well, you can count them in your threes, or if you're not confident with that, you can count them one by one. We have 12 all together. What's the big picture? Why is multiplying useful to us? Well, the explorer on the right is counting one by one. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. His friend says, what are you doing? The other one says, you can count quicker by multiplying. And the last explorer says, just multiply instead. It's quicker and easier. So if we know how to multiply, we can count groups together more quickly. Let's look at some key vocabulary now. Now, some of these we've seen earlier this week, such as equal, altogether, groups and recognize we've already spoken about but now we've also got addition which remember is adding and repeated which is when something happens more than once here's our first question then and it's asking us for lots of information there are mm, equal groups with mm in each group there are mm all together mm, add mm, add mm, add mm, add mm equals mm Okay, let's start with the first part. How many equal groups are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. And now let's see how many are in each group. So starting with the first group, let's count the number of hats. One, two, three, four, five in the first group. Let's check the second now. One, two, three, four, five hats in the second group. And I can see that there are five hats in the other groups as well. So we can fill out that information now. There are five equal groups with five in each group. Now we need to see how many we've got all together. Remember, I could count them one by one, but the whole point of them being in equal groups is that they're easier to count and it's quicker this way. So as there are five hats in each group, we're going to be counting in our fives. Let's go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So there are 25 all together. Now we need to complete that number sentence. You can see in the thought bubble, it says, if you write it as a number sentence, we are adding the amount in each group five times. This is called repeated addition. Repeated so it happens more than once. So when we're counting in our fives to get 25, all we're actually doing is adding five over and over again. So it's five, add five, add five, add five, add five equals 25. Now let's look at this one. We've got some groups of leaves. And again, we have to fill out the same information. So there are mm, equal groups with mm in each group. There are mm all together. Then we need to do our addition sentence. So let's start with counting the number of equal groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I can see in each group there are two leaves. So there are seven equal groups with two in each group. Now let's see how many we've got all together. So if they're in groups of two, what are we going to be counting them in? That's right, our twos. Let's do that now. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. There are 14 all together. Finally, our repeated addition number sentence. Well, what we just did when we counted in our twos was add two seven times. So let's fill that in now. Two, add two, Add two, add two, add two, add two, add two, 
equals 14. Now we've got some torches for Tom's big adventure to the North Pole. So firstly, we need to count the number of groups. One, two, three. And let's see how many are in each group. Let's count them together. So the first group, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the other two have the same amount as well. So let's fill that in. There are three equal groups with ten in each group. Now we need to count them all together. So they're in groups of 10. That means we need to count in our tens. 10, 20, 30 all together. Now pause the video and have a go at the last part. What's the repeated addition number sentence? Well, we counted in our tens three times. So 10, add 10, add 10 equals 30. Here's the final one we're going to do together before you have a go at the chili challenges by yourself at home. So there are mm equal groups with mm in each group. There are mm all together. What's the number sentence? Let's do the first part first. Let's count the number of groups we have. One, two, three, four. And let's count how many we have in each. One, two, three, four, five. And I can see I have the same in the other groups as well. So there are four equal groups with five in each group. Now let's count how many we've got all together. Now there's five in each group, so we're going to be counting in what? That's right, our fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. There are 20 boxes all together. Finally, let's do our addition number sentence. So we added five four times. Five, add five, add five, add five equals 20. Right now, let's try some of these at home. Here are your chili challenges. As always, start with chili one if you feel a little bit unsure about this. If you're feeling confident, start with chili two. Chili one is using practical items like we did in Monday's lesson. So remember, you can use counters, Lego bricks, pens, pencils, anything you like. Uh, here's a group that I made on Monday's lesson. So I have two equal groups with 10 in each group. Uh, you could also write the repeated addition number sentence. So 10 add 10 equals 20. So have a go at making some groups with items that you've got around the house and writing the repeated addition number sentence to go with them. This is the first part of Chili 2, so just fill in the gaps. And the next two questions of Chili 2. And finally, here's a pink for think for chili too. So which one does not belong? What do we need to change to make them all represent the same? We'll go through this together in just a minute. And once you've done chili two, if you'd like to challenge yourself even further, here's chili three. True or false? Five add five equals two, add two, add two, add two, add two. Draw an image or use cubes to help you to explain your answer. Again, we'll go through this together in just a moment. So Chili 2's pink for think, which one does not belong? You can see that all of these different representations are meant to show the number 10. So the red dice, you've got five on each. So five add five, that shows 10. Underneath it says two fives. We know that two fives are 10. Five add five, we know that's 10. The number 10, obviously, is 10, and then two 5p coins we know make 10 as well. The green Numicon, however, we've got 5 add 5 add 5. We've got three fives, which is 15, so we need to cross one out, and now it shows 10. Chili 3 is true or false? Well, I've used some cubes to help me explain what I think. So firstly, I wanted to work out what 5 add 5 was, and as you can see, I've used the cubes to show that 5 add 5 is 10. And then I use the cubes to show what 2 add 2 add 2 add 2 add 2 is. I can see that that's also 10. So I think the answer is true, that 5 add 5 is the same as 2 add 2 add 2 add 2 add 2. Let's do one last check to make sure that we're really certain on this. So check my statements. Are they correct? Can you write what they should be if you disagree? 
So I think there are three equal groups with two in each group, and there are 50 altogether, because five add five add five add three makes 50. What do you think, year two? Green for great or pink for think, my answers. Okay, I was right that there are three equal groups, but I was wrong about the number in each group. So let's count how many we have. Let's start with the first group. One, two, three, four, five. Let's check the others. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five torches in the last group as well. So there are three equal groups with five in each group. That means we need to count in our fives to see how many we've got all together. Five, 10, 15. So there are 15 all together. Five add five add five equals 15. Remember to log into NumBots as well. So this is at the very start. It gets a lot trickier as you go on. But for now, here's a part whole model and I just have to count how many I've got all together. Remember you earn coins as well. Yay, I'm a pro. Awesome. So I earned 32 coins and unlocked level three. And now I have to count how many gold blocks there are and so on. Awesome job today, year two. Well done. Now remember, if there's any work you'd like to send to us or if you just want to say hello, then email us at our year two email address and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Well done and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.